going on guys? Welcome back to LM Diesel and today we're installing a brand new Mishimoto transmission cooler on my 5.9 Cummins. So the first thing we're doing, one of the first upgrades we're doing is since I have the built transmission in there, uh, a lot of times when you have a built transmission, it causes a little bit more heat and the stock trans cooler can't really handle that well. There's a couple tricks to keep it down with a stock cooler, but realistically, if you're gonna be doing towing or a lot of rowdy stuff, you need a better cooler. So Chris hooked me up and we got this Mishimoto trans cooler here. So this thing's gonna work sweet. This is what he has on his mega cab and it seems to work well for him. Of course, we have all vibrant performance fittings and stuff. We're gonna be running a new line. We've got new hose for this cooler. So this is gonna be exciting. I've been putting off, putting this on my truck for a while. So this is a much needed upgrade. I've never owned anything Mishimoto before. This is the first. Mishimoto, please sponsor me. I will proudly rep your name if this works. Looks pretty nice. So this is a stock trans cooler off of an 07 Dodge with a 48 RE. This is the Mishimoto one. First off, first notes, Mishimoto is a lot wider and also thicker than the stock cooler. Um, also, another thing I noticed is just kind of like the general design of this. You can kind of see the way that the the fins run on this versus on this. Uh, definitely a better design. This one was old, worn out. This is nice and new and pretty. Also, this is a lot heavier. There's a definite weight difference with the two. Like this is a noticeably heavier cooler than this. So we got a uh, thermostat inside here. We're gonna open it up in the Mishimoto cooler and show you about deleting the thermostat. If you live up north, this might be something you might not want to do, but since we're in Texas, it never gets cold, so we don't need a thermostat. It's in the top of it. You just take this little dude out. There she goes. Nice. Then, simply take the one that's supplied in the kit. Something like this, I think. It just slides in there and just deletes the thermostat, huh? Yep. It's got a little pamphlet talking about it. That's pretty sweet. Pretty easy sweet, peasy. Simple. Keeps it, uh, keeps the trans nice and chilly, nice and happy. You know, for those uh, big single guys that spend so much time trying to spool them up, I don't know why it doesn't make sense, but whatever. Hey, so man. you need uh, all the cooler flows for the converter, so it lives there longer. That is true. Do you know that I did two burnouts? Just two. And my trans was already at like 190 after doing it. <laughs> it was like, I gotta love it, right? Sucks. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> Single suck. All right, guys, so we're coming back the next day and this is kind of where we're at. We got the belt on, we got the timing cover gasket uh, on, we have the new cam in, tappets, we have valve springs, and the truck started up last night, which is fantastic. Uh, sounded really good too, we only ran it for a sec. So now we just kind of have to start putting the whole front end together. We're gonna be putting a new radiator on as well as new transmission cooler. But we're gonna have to start running the lines for that transmission cooler. So that's one of the things we're gonna be doing while we're under there doing the lines and stuff. We're also going to adjust the bands and just kind of check the health of the transmission because I've been beating on it for a couple months now. We're just gonna make sure it's still good. And honestly, we're just gonna spend a Saturday and have a good time. So let's get to it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna delete the factory lines and the factory coolant heat exchanger on the side. And we put in quarter MPT to dash eight, run a uh, air equip push lock hose all the way to the cooler. So it's serviceable, it's quick and easy, it's long lasting. You don't ever run the risk of cross contaminating coolant and transmission oil by the heat exchanger on the side. And it's just overall higher flow and less BS. So Mishimoto, please sponsor me. Your trans cooler looks sick, especially in front of my aluminum radiator. Truck is starting to look good. Starting to be pieced back together. We just gotta run those lines for the trans cooler. 
Levi, what we got? Well, getting the line hooked up. Some some high quality line here that Chris got. So this will go from here, come around here a little bit. See those fittings right there? It'll flow more transmission fluid and obviously the cooler's bigger and nicer. So everything should stay nice and happy and cool. So definitely excited about that. We might have to do a few burnouts and you know, see how cool it really stays. <laughs> so when we do our hoses, we use these little crimp clamps. Oh yeah. Slide that up there. Tighten that in, and then we have this really nice tool that we use. And it slides it up on there really tight, which makes it a lot easier. Get a little lube there. That's pretty much it. Nice. That's how you make a really nice, sexy looking hose. All right. So uh, Jake just finished getting the trans cooler installed and did a really good job on these lines. It's new lines coming in. And what's awesome is that these lines are uh, disconnectable. So you can just go and grab your wrench, unscrew them, unscrew them from either the cooler or like the transmission. And so it makes it really easy to you know, unhook the transmission or take all this stuff out and not damage anything because those old metal lines that kind of like crush in, it's super easy to bend them. Like these kinds of lines, they're really easy to bend. And this stuff is just a lot more flexible and a lot more tough. Uh, plus it's thicker, so it'll flow more fluid. So all in all, we should have a happier transmission. I also just finished adjusting the band as well. So we shouldn't, we should hopefully gotten rid of that flare, so. Y'all thought I wasn't gonna cut in on this video, were you? You were wrong. Okay, so just kinda wanted to talk to this trans cooler install. First off, highly recommend this. This is going to be huge for anyone who has a built transmission for their Dodge. The transmission temps I've seen with my truck after putting this Mishimoto trans cooler in is truly insane. Uh, I'll get to that in a bit, but honestly, it has completely changed the transmission cooling of my truck. It's been awesome. So to kind of just talk to the install, so basically on the original trans cooler, the trans cooler sits behind the intercooler and in front of the radiator. That's where the factory location is. So it runs lines from the factory location trans cooler to the heat exchanger, which is on the driver's side of the engine block. And then it runs a line from that to the transmission. And so basically the thought process behind it is that the transmission would help to, as the engine warmed up, that would help to warm up the transmission fluid. And if the transmission was warm and the engine was cool, then it could help to keep everything correct, right? That was at least Dodge's idea. And we all know how good Dodge is at building stuff. Anyway, what this kit does basically, and what Chris and his guys do at Unrivaled Diesel, is they just delete the heat exchanger completely get thicker line and run it directly from the cooler all the way back to the transmission and bypass the heat exchanger completely, which makes a big difference. They also remove the thermostat from the Mishimoto trans cooler, which makes a big difference as well. Uh, but all in all, it was a it was a good install and I would highly recommend doing it. To be honest, I thought my transmission like temperature sensor was broken because of like how cool this thing was. Like honestly, I don't think I've seen it get over like 110 degrees. Like that's how freaking cool this cool, like this cooler works for this truck. And that's with spooling, boosting around town, like all that stuff. So if you have a built transmission, like absolutely buy this cooler. It is worth every penny. So uh, that's pretty much it. Um, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and I will catch y'all on the next one. Peace. Oh, there you go.